We've got a crackdown on Nintendo Switch. No, not that crackdown. Although the first one was pretty darn fun. I do have a bunch of new Nintendo Switch game announcements that just dropped, adding to the Gamescom paraphernalia, but it's all about this lockdown and what it means for players like you and I. What's going on everybody, it's Zach from Switch Force. At first blush, hearing that Nintendo is adding more security to their system sounds great. They've really been trying to lock things down. You might remember a few weeks back, they added new policies to their ban hammer rulings, where if you share games via your Switch account, you can be banned. Nintendo locking things down to make sure that shared Nintendo accounts, sold Nintendo accounts, things of that sort, trying to let your friend play a game that you bought? Bad, not allowed. Now Nintendo is adding to this in a much more concrete way. This time, they are providing Switch developers through Nintendo's own developer portal access to de novo anti-emulation technology. Maybe you don't know, but Switch emulation is actually quite problematic because Switch games can easily be pirated and emulated on PC. There's almost 5,000 Switch games that are available on PC right now, and it's a way that Nintendo feels they're losing out. Now, you might also know that Denuvo, they're not loved. Denuvo technology has been incorporated into many PC releases and dramatically affected the performance. Some people feel like it's not worth the benefit to punish the few who are pirating these for the negative, which is punishing those who purchase the game and now it runs more poorly because it is bogged down and plagued with the Denuvo bug. So to be very clear, this technology is being added to Nintendo Switch's developer portal, which means if you're making a Switch game, anybody out there making one for Nintendo Switch, you'll have access to this tech and you can add it onto your game. In theory, protecting your title, but possibly making things work even more poorly on Switch. Zenuvo themselves said even if a game is protected against piracy on its PC version, the version released on Nintendo Switch can be emulated from day one and played on PC therefore bypassing the strong protections offered on the PC version. By blocking unauthorized emulations on PC, studios are able to increase the revenue during the game launch window, which is the most important period for monetization. Now, trust me, I am 100% on the dev side here. I don't think people should be pirating games. I don't think people should be emulating games. I don't think people should be trying to get Switch games to run on PC so they can circumvent the cartridge and not have to buy the game. I fully believe that piracy is wrong. At the same time, Adding a goopy, sloopy, maple syrup type software to your title may not be in the best interest of players. Now, Denuvo has been cracked many times on PC, so there's nothing to say that this won't be cracked on Switch. It took them into the seventh year of the Switch's life cycle to even incorporate this technology, so to me, it doesn't seem like it's a surefire solution. I mean, maybe they found a lockdown way, but to me, I expect that this will get busted through as well. Hackers and pirates are just real creative when it comes to these sorts of things. And then what are we left with? We're left with certain Switch games maybe being bogged down in exchange for a false sense of security that doesn't even really prevent the hardcore pirates from pirating. It sort of feels like if they're going to pirate, they're going to pirate. And the percentage that is doing that compared to the millions that are buying Switch games, probably not worth it. That's just my opinion, and I hope that none of these games actually see significant bog down. I feel like the problems that plague PC versions that do incorporate Denuvo will not one-to-one -one carry over to Switch. For example, if a new game comes out on PC and has Denuvo, I feel like it'll more negatively affect performance than if it happens on Switch. But I guess TBD. We've seen Pokemon Scarlet and Violet run like crap, and it doesn't have anything bogging it down except its own bad code. So will this become an issue going forward? TBD. Will this be something that affects the next Nintendo Switch console? I would imagine that Denuvo worked on this, maybe even in preparation for the next Switch console. Maybe Nintendo really wanted a lockdown solution for Switch games being pirated and emulated on PC. And I understand that that's important to them, but I do hope that this does not impact performance, especially since we're going to be buying a new Switch for better performance. I don't want to see this technology counteracting Nintendo's aggressive performance pumping up. In the end, I think it's clear that Nintendo is getting way more serious about their online in both 
front-facing and back-end ways. They want to make sure that online games are a prominent part of the Switch library and ecosystem, and they also want to lock this stuff down, getting serious about accounts, getting serious about security. What steps will they take next? All I know is it doesn't sound like friend codes are ending anytime soon. Let's talk some new games, baby, because Gamescom Day 1 is in full swing. Yesterday, we covered all the announcements for Switch from Opening Night Live and Jeff Keighley's Big Pizza Parade, but today we got individual developers and publishers showcasing and sharing new stuff. Night Dive Studios has two titles being ported to Switch, quirky ones. The first is Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. This is an OG PlayStation PC Star Wars game that feels like Doom Wars, like the old style Doom or Wolfenstein. It actually looks pretty sick in its remastered fashion, and they're saying it's going to run up to like 120 frames per second and be really, really crispy. There's no set release date, but I love to have stuff like this on Switch. It is a fun, quirky way to experience things from yesteryear, maybe before you were born, or maybe something that you enjoyed in your childhood. No release date for this one. But Turok 3 is also being ported to Nintendo Switch. Oddball titles! I don't think anyone called these. A lot of people have been clamoring for a new Dino Crisis. Instead, you're going to have to settle for a old Turok. This one drops on November 14th of this year and will be on Switch and other platforms. Speaking of November, we got a delay from My Time at Sandrock, the sequel to My Time at Portia, being delayed from September into November. That one moves from September 26th to November 2nd, although there's definitely no dearth of cozy farm sims in September, so I think we'll be a-okay. I do have higher hopes for this one than most, because I thought My Time at Portia was really well made. Sandrock looks even better. It's been through kind of the ringer. It was in early access, now it's finally coming out, now it's been delayed a month and a half, so we'll have to see if it actually turns out a nice finely ground product when it hits in early November. SteamWorld Build, officially releasing on December 1st on Nintendo Switch, a fun game coming in the final month of the year, my B-Day month. And this one, I don't know how I feel about Build. I'm a big SteamWorld fan. I loved every game they put out, even the old one that Image and Forum Games did with the ants. It was like an ant tower defense type game. Anyhow, SteamWorld Dig, SteamWorld Heist, SteamWorld Quest, but SteamWorld Build? I have not been tantalized by this one, as I don't really love city builders. I'm definitely going to give it a try, because it is coming to Switch day and date, and because it is SteamWorld. I hope that I love it, but I'm really, really waiting for the next SteamWorld game, which is supposed to be their big 3D one. They didn't really show anything about that, but they did promise that the Switch version will be equal to the PC version, which is nice, and December 1st right now, I mean, that's a little bit of an empty time, although we'll all be busy playing Super Mario RPG, so here's hoping that this game can wow us and win us over in a couple months' time. My favorite of the day, though, goes to It's a Wrap. This is an awesome game. I played the demo during a Steam Next Fest, and basically you are a director controlling an actor who is trying to basically be Mario. This dude has to navigate his way through movie sets, platforming style, but you control the action via a director-editor position. This is basically like you get to be me editing videos, except instead of editing my face, which is kind of boring after a while, you get to edit a Mario-type character making jumps and dodging dire situations. It was so fun in the demo, and they announced it's coming out on Switch. It's out. Actually, scratch that. It's a wrap is out now on PC but it's coming to Switch August 31st. August 31st is a Thursday. Is there an indie world on August 31st? There could be, because why else is this not out today? I'm sorry if I got you hyped and now you're bummed. You, you, you could buy it on Steam if you want. I won't, I won't hold it against you. Or you can wait for Switch. It's a wrap is actually out on August 31st. Okay, it's a wrap on this segment. We're done. So we've got a bunch of remasters and ports, nothing crazy coming out of Gamescom yet, no huge game announcements. It feels like with E3 out of the picture, nobody really prepped anything super awesome for this season. Like if they didn't have it to get anything ready for E3, they also didn't get anything ready for Gamescom. We got some nice updates, some nice new demos, some nice new looks at already existing titles, but no big surprises. Honestly, I think Little Nightmares 3 is the king of the Gamescom crown so far. That one 
should be amazing. I hope it gets a date soon, and I can't wait to play it on Switch with all of you. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the security crackdown by Nintendo and of some of these new game announcements. If you're going to check any of them out, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, Switch Force out.